Hello friends, welcome to my channel and explore the world of Microsoft Azure. My name is Rajneesh Kaushik and I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer, Consultant and an Enterprise Architect. For more latest videos and blogs, you can always log into my website rajneeshkaushik.com and subscribe to my blog. Please do not forget to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss the latest videos. Do like, share and comment. In this session, we will learn about building and pushing Docker images to Azure Container Registry with the help of Azure DevOps Pipeline. Let's get started. So this is the agenda for today's learning. First, we will learn about what is Azure Container Registry. Then we will understand about what is the concept of pipelines in DevOps in general. Then we will uh, learn about what is Azure Pipeline. Then I have created a solution to showcase these concepts. So I will provide you the solution overview. And then we will straight away jump to the demo to see how these concepts works. So let's get started. Okay. So what is Azure Container Registry? As you might be already aware that Docker has, has its own container registry called Docker Hub. Similarly, you can create the similar kind of functionality in your own Azure subscription by creating a Azure Container Registry. So Azure Container Registry is nothing but a private registry which where you can use this registry to host all the container images. The good part about this uh, container registry is that it integrates very well with different kinds of orchestrator like Kubernetes, Docker Swarm, and you can get all the, the same kind of commands which you used to use with Docker Hub. Those commands works very well with the uh, Azure Container Registry. You can store and manage these images, the different versions of images in the Azure Container Registry. You can use the same kind of CLI tool which you are uh, used to use in Docker Hub or in a typical Docker environment. The, then if you have a different uh, set of locations, like you are working in East US and West US, so you can create the registry near to your location so that when you push or uh, pull the images, um, that location is very near to your environment. And it, this registry also have a access management tightly integrated with Azure Active Directory. So you can grant the privileges to a specific set of users based on their credentials and their uh, rights. And it also supports Windows and Linux based container images. Um, so these are the benefits of uh, Azure Container Registry. Okay, so now let's learn what is pipeline in Azure DevOps or in any DevOps environment. So pipeline actually enables you to build your automation and your continuous integration, which is CI CD. And it helps you to uh, do the automation in the testing perspective and the deployment perspective. So pipeline actually helps you to enable your code development in the production environment via the automated um, set of pipelines, automated set of steps or sequence of steps. And this helps you to uh, create a repeatable, reliably, incrementally improving your processes from one part to another part. But it requires a certain set of infrastructure and this infrastructure has to be very stable so that your development can go smoothly. So how do we achieve this? We can achieve this uh, stability with the help of Azure Pipeline. What is Azure Pipeline? Azure Pipeline is a cloud-based service that you can use to automatically build and test your code and it can be made easily available to the users. So how it works, suppose you want to check in your code as a developer and the moment you check in the code, it will automatically start building the code, uh, move it into the uh, you know, production environment and deploy it. So these are the steps it can take automatically and you don't have to set up any infrastructure. It is managed by Azure. This works very uh, nicely with uh, your you know, CI CD. Uh, it supports multiple languages like Python, Java, PHP, Ruby, C Sharp, and Go. You can have a different set of targets to deploy your code. Um, it also works uh, tightly with your container registry. Uh, you know, your, if you want to deploy the code in virtual machines, 
or you can deploy your code in any cloud specific environment like Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud or AWS. So it's it, it can, you know, these environments can also utilize the Azure DevOps pipeline. You can also build your uh, machines, uh, whether it is Windows machine, Linux machine or Mac OS machines for all this deployment. It tightly integrated with GitHub and any open source projects. So these are the advantages of your Azure pipeline. In order to understand these concepts, I have created a small solution. Um, in this solution, uh, we are going to show you that whenever a user uh, commits the code into the GitHub, uh, this code is uh, copied into the, uh, with the help of pipeline, this code is being pulled and there, there is a Docker image getting created and this Docker image is pushed into the Azure Container Registry. So, we have this Azure pipeline, Azure DevOps organization, and there is a container registry where this image is getting pushed. So let's understand what, is, what are the parts of the demo. First, we will clone the repository. We'll create a container registry with the help of CLI. Um, we will create an Azure pipeline. And in that pipeline, we will build, we'll start building the pipeline and then testing whether the Docker image is already copied into the Azure or not. So let's get started. In order to simplify this uh, demo, I have taken existing Microsoft sample from this uh, Git repository and cloned it into my uh, repository. Then I have used uh, Azure CLI. And uh, if you see this Azure CLI I'm using in uh, PowerShell uh, ISC. So if you are purely using this Azure CLI in the CLI environment, you don't need this dollar sign. But since I'm using it in PowerShell, so I'm using um, to store the values in the variable, I'm using dollar sign here. So what we are doing is first we need to log into Azure with the AZ login. Then we will create a um, we will create these variables where I have created a variable for the source group, uh, Azure container registry name, and then the location where we are going to create. So this is the first command we are going to run that as AZ group, uh, which is going to use, uh, which will be used to create a resource group in Azure. And then we will create a container registry. So let me show you, this is a, this is my group, which I have created a source group and there is this container registry. So this is a part, of, uh, first part of the demo. Then we will move to the Azure DevOps organization. This is my Azure DevOps organization. And then here I am going to create a pipeline. Here I'm going to create a pipeline here and it's very simple to create a pipeline. This pipeline is based on the GitHub. So I'm going to use GitHub. In GitHub, I am going to use my pipeline JavaScript Docker, uh, which is a uh, the same um, repository which we have cloned and then we are going to select the configuration option with the configuration option we are going to select uh, docker for build and push an image to azure container registry once you select this option it is going to ask you about the subscription so we are going to select the subscription and continue Here it is asking me to provide the subscription information. And it will let you know what are the container registries you have, is already available in your subscription. So I'm going to select this container registry because I have created the exactly same container registry with my CLI here. My ACR07. And then image name, it automatically taken the image name. You can change the image name if you want. And then the Docker file, file which is going to build. So these are the variable. And then this is the Docker file. We are going to say validate. And once validation is done, uh, it's going to create a pipeline. While it is creating pipeline, it's going to run this code internally because 
uh, Microsoft uses this tools to build this code internally. So what this code does is it um, triggers this pipeline. There are variables it is creating in the uh, before it starts the trigger. It creates the agent uh, VM image with this Ubuntu agent, and there are these stages of the pipeline. So these stages are similar to um, other DevOps tools like Jenkins. And this, if you see, there is a Docker at two, so that means it is going to uh, build or push the Docker images uh, with the help of these settings, the steps, and then it will take the uh, image from the repository and then it is going to push it into the uh, Azure Container Registry with the help of service connection. So internally, it creates this code, but you don't have to worry about this code if you are just, um, you know, because you are going to use it with the UI, we will say save and run, and we will put a comments that my token image, save and run, and while it is running, let's see if there is something there or not. In the repositories, you don't see any image. And while this is running, um, you will see that build already started here. And it is queued in the environment. Uh, once the queuing is completed, it will run the uh, Docker image and, and push it into the repository here. So let's refresh it. Nothing is coming here as of now because the job is still running now. And once the job is completed, then you will see some image there. Now you can see that job is successfully ran. And let's see if it created any image in the registry or not. Yes, you can see that this image is already pushed once we completed the pipeline successfully. Thanks for watching and do not forget to subscribe to the channel.